Come on then. Yeah, we didn't think this one out very well. No, did we, we didn't. Um, we are struggling with. You said you wanted a walkthrough, but we we're not quite sure um, how to do it, if you like. Um, so we're just going to wing it, and we're just going to show you um, our boat. Yeah. So obviously, this is uh, what our channel is named after: Well Deck Diaries. This is the Well Deck. Um, I haven't normally got coal in here, that's normally on the roof, but we've got some nice dry bags of coal from the Chandlers, so I want to keep them dry. Yeah, so we'd normally just come in, first place we'd go to, we'd be over to put the kettle on. Yeah, so as you can see, the fire is at the end of the boat. Um, nearly all the boats that we've been in, the fire has always been in the middle. Um, but ours is obviously at the end. Yeah, I think with the fires, um, some of the boats we've been on um, have been cruiser stern and what they call reverse layout. So at the bow end has been the bedroom. Um, so normally with those type of boats, you come down uh, from the stern end straight into the galley. Yeah. And then you've got your um, your dinette area and your living um, area there. So which is why they have the fire midship. Yeah. yeah. This is the dinette, um, the hub of the boat. This is where we sit for most of the time. Um, and the dogs have the set, uh, the armchairs. Um, but this is wonderful. It turns into a double bed um, if you have guests. And this actual seat here reverses round and um, becomes a seat as well. Um, so that's like, it's a double whammy, it's brilliant. Um, and I'll show you. Yeah, so now we've got like four seats like this is uh, a two-seater and then you've got the chairs there not too close to the fire so that's okay it's brilliant when you're entertaining one of the biggest problem on boats is always the amount of storage you have and we've actually got quite a bit here <laughs> that's a very deep cupboard and obviously as deep cupboards go you fill them with everything we've got storage under the steps There's actually a little bit of storage space behind there where the water tank is. And we have lots of storage under this side of the dinette. And we have a long radiator here, which is covered and um, heated by the central heating boiler. Now, all our um, windows are portholes. Uh, that was a personal choice, personal preference. Yeah, so it's just the, the little things, the attention to details where the uh, the panels join, um, rather than the two, let's get pointy finger in shot, rather than the two panels just button up with one little strip, um, they've actually put a wide piece of wood on, panelled everything nicely, and that theme um, runs throughout the boat. And it just, just makes um, that little bit uh, of difference, in my opinion. We have um, the one side hatch, and when that side hatch is open, lets in loads of light shining all over our breakfast table. Fortunately, the view out of there, because we're in the marina, is just of um, the neighbour's boat, which is still afloat. And then we've got the glazed panels that can be closed um, just to let the light in, but obviously keep the heat in the boat. Under here as well is um storage quite a lot it's absolutely packed full because we do like to store <laughs> so that's good where's your hair dryer that's in there yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah my hair dryer's in there yeah my straighteners yeah so our living area of the boat or the saloon uh technical term we haven't really done anything to it have we deborah no not at all no no um fairy lights 
I've put those up and we've done the um, unagunnel LED lighting. Yeah. Um, I shall put links for both of these um, in the description below. These have been up a year now. And I think the under gunnel lighting, um, about a year and a half, yeah. no problems with them. No, no, So there is all. some cheap and cheerful stuff out there. So uh, this stuff I can actually recommend. And um, night time is when the boat comes into its own, uh, the little remote control for the LED pelmet light and the, the ambience that you can set uh, depending on the mood you're in. I've, as you can see, we've still got light coming in through the window. <laughs> So I just got to sit here twiddling my thumbs, wait for it to get a little bit darker so I can actually uh, show you what I mean. Yeah, so now we go down to the galley, I think it's called, my kitchen. Rather cute. <laughs> and this is uh, the cup cupboard. Under the sink storage, um, you've got your bits and pieces, your cleaning stuff um tins and tea towels <laughs> more bottles of alcohol you got this little cupboard here which is is brilliant uh, with more alcohol then we've got the saucepans and tins in this cupboard the reason we keep tins in this cupboard is it's good ballast and then this cupboard has got all of the gravies and bits and pieces and some medicines that we take on a regular basis and we did used to have the um, the herbs in that cupboard yeah, as well, we but yeah. uh, we got that many, we had to invest in a new yeah. herb, right? So that's brilliant. This is absolutely, because yeah, I use these all the time. Um, just full of food, plates, etc. And then obviously you've got your gas cooker and hob. Um, we've got the electric, because we're in the marina at the minute, we're using the electric kettle. Um, but normally we'd use the kettle on the um, the gas. And then this is the fridge, the fridge that now fits actually. Um, it's so much bigger, it's brilliant. Even just that much bigger, it just makes all the difference. No pun intended there. Yeah, and we've actually got like an insert that, that fits in here. So that makes it all like this. And I'm doing very well for not doing a lot of talking in this video, Yay! which will please some of you. <laughs> And here we've got like a walk-in bathroom, which is brilliant. Or a walk, is it called a walk-through? A walk-through bathroom. Um, no passageways in here. Bang your shoulders on. And as you'd expect, point your finger, various cubby holes for storage, a cupboard here which houses the shower pump and other pipes, another cupboard under the sink and another radiator, heated towel rail again fed from the central heating boiler. Right so we'll exit the bathroom and take you into the bedroom. Now this I think this was the deal breaker. It was with definitely us. yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll sit down at the dinette in a little while and tell you what we originally wanted with the boat and what we ended up with but this was i think the only thing out of all of our checklist um that we actually ended up with yes yeah yeah everything else was totally different but i am so so glad we did end up with the blue one yeah i'll lead the way you lead the way <laughs> so we've got a cross bed um wardrobe space under bed space um it's it's just this this bedroom did seal the deal yes yeah, so as, as deb was saying one of the things we wanted was a, a cross bed now before we got the boat uh, the last 10 years prior to that um, we'd had touring caravans and we slowly upgraded and upgraded each caravan until we got one which the layout was very similar to this so you had a pull out cross bed so we could both get out either side of the bed, um, should we need to get up in the middle of the night. One wasn't always pinned against the wall. And wardrobe space, like Deb said, I'm gonna show you in, in both wardrobes, but we've got shelving all the way down this side. We have hanger space all the way in there, more shelving under there, 
uh, cupboards by the side of the bed. And again, this side, got shelving all the way down for all my various bits and pieces. Loads of hanger, hanger space there that actually goes right, right to the back there. Um, I've got shelving under there. So you can actually look in all our cupboards, <laughs> not like Colin and Sean, there's a cupboard you're not allowed to look at on their boat. And we'll show you just how easy it is um, to make up this pull out bed. Right, we do this every day and it's easy. Um, now I'm filming it, it's obviously gonna go wrong. So <laughs> what, what we've got, um, we've got a, a, a split mattress. So this part of the um, bed is a mattress on them. We've got another section of mattress there. Then we have um, a section that pulls out. So it comes to bedtime, we've got our nighties on, or Deb's got hers on, I've got my pajamas on. And we just lift that up, pull. I'm making it awkward because I'm tripping over the tripod. Pull that out of there. It's then just a simple case of plopping the mattress there. We pull the sheet down, which has been tucked up. Pillars go there. Quilt goes there. And, and we're in bed. Ta -da. And reverse, reverse order. It's just as easy when we put it all back. And uh, we have a little method that we do. Yeah, so with the um, portholes either side, plus you've you've got mirrors either side here, um, it's always light and airy in here, always. It's never dull, um, apart from when it's dark. <laughs> yeah, and we're sport for choice for quilts and blankets. Yeah, so um, viewers have been so generous. Um, like this, this beautiful one was handmade um, by a church group. Um, there's prayers on it and bits and pieces it's absolutely lovely and this is another one that's been handmade absolutely beautiful it's it's two-sided so you can have it either way um, but absolutely out of this world What's just happened, Deborah? I've just got this this out. It's the first time I've actually had it right spread out, and I've just realised that it's got words on it. Oh, it's all all hand knitted. Yeah, um, fight, friends, faith, love, hope, conquer, strength. Absolutely beautiful. And that only leaves one room, Deborah? Yeah, Mark's took room. Yeah, now for the best bit. Follow me. Here we go. Now, this is uh, what me and Deborah has referred to as my man cave. And um, I think we'd be absolutely lost without it. We've got lots of lots of shelving there, very deep shelving, loads of spares and bits and pieces. Our automatic washing machine um, or washer dryer is down there. Vegetable rack. All our electrical distribution and the controls for the boat when I'm standing out the back there. Our inverter, tools, Obviously the engine is located under there. Now, considering when me and Deb originally were looking at boats, the only boat we'd ever been on was a cruiser stern boat. Um, with the cruiser stern, um, you've got a large area at the back of the boat and where you can get your, your little bistro table out and bits and pieces. But basically, um, a cruiser stern would take all this area up. Everything you can see here will be taken up by the cruiser stern, which is, absolutely fantastic if you live a very very 
um, minimalist life, or if you've got your boat purely for um, leisure. Okay, we can't get a um, bistro set and sit out on the back, but we've got two and a half thousand miles of towpath where we can um, put our deck chairs and sit. So all this area um, we've gained by going for a traditional stern as opposed to a cruiser stern. Yeah, so obviously I've only got a very small amount of area to stand, but all that area, my man cave area, where you can bung everything out of the way is uh, a lifesaver. Now quickly, from the rounded end of the boat, we will come all the way through and bunged everything in the way and all the way around. And as the sun goes down and it gets dark, you've got sort of any shade um, from the warm whites through to the reds, the blues, the greens, and no end of different colours in between. Yeah, so as promised, don't forget, I will put the um, links for all our mood lighting in the uh, description below. Hello, everyone. This little video was one of the hardest I think we've ever yeah. had to do. Yeah, it took us two years to get round to doing it. And as I've probably mentioned before, we, we don't, whenever we do videos, we have no plan. No. I just point you, point you, Three or four weeks later, I sit down and try to make something watchable. So this time, actually trying to deliberately film bits and pieces, we hope you've found interesting yeah. um, doing the, <laughs> the boat walkthrough. Yeah. Yeah. As I've said before, most of you have seen various areas of the boat, but we've never really explained. Done and a I, detail. I've just, I've just this minute remembered one of the things I did want to point out that I didn't mention. So I'll edit that in somehow with magic yes yeah, so you've all seen lots of exterior shots of the boat she's a 2007 um, boat that was built by MGN boats which I believe are still going and it was a um, and I can't remember the guy's name who fitted it out um, I'll put it here because I've got it down on on paper and um, we bought her from a b and b at Crick yeah. we wanted a cruiser stern reverse layout um with a crossover bed that and was definitely 57 a foot maximum yeah, length 57 foot maximum length we ended up with a traditional stern a 60 foot with conventional layout yeah conventional traditional layout yeah and the the crossover bed so out of all those things on the tick list it was only the, crossover, the crossover bed, bed that we ended up with and i think we did um decide we wanted a like a walkthrough rather than a passageway down the side because a lot of yeah. boats have that passageway down and the again side. The, these are personal preferences yeah. so if any of you have got the dead opposite to what we're saying we wouldn't want we're not dissing that in no, any no, way no. it's just our our personal that's yeah. what we were looking yeah. for and as, as i mentioned the the reason for the crossover bed was that was what we had in our very last caravan, caravan. yeah we, it was a, a brand brand new one and it had a pull out crossover bed big end bathroom um totally different than this it was very modern yeah yeah very, yeah, very sort of ultra white modern. clean yeah inside um but but we did when we when we want when we were looking for a boat we did want a more traditional looking yeah boat. that's yeah. what we wanted didn't we i mean we 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 had the choice really yeah, so some of the some of the new ones oh my god they're beautiful absolutely beautiful mm. but for my personal taste they're not boaty enough yeah. Not woody enough, um, a little bit too much white panelling and a modern, very straight cut furniture. Again, personal preference, no offence to anybody who's got a anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're lovely, new boats are lovely. Yeah, so I'm hoping that uh, how we did it, which was very sort of, we were winging it, we were truly winging it, how we've done it isn't too boring for you as well. Um, so we, we opened all our cupboards and beard our souls if you like <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah and we haven't got a, a an alcohol problem i promise no it's 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 bought for ballast yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um last week we had a request from somebody um pot pickers <laughs> so so i'm going to read this um it's 
from Anne-Marie Dinsdale and she just wants to wish Paul Dinsdale a happy Valentine's Day and she loves you lots. So lots of love to Paul from Anne-Marie. And we wouldn't normally do requests, but no. it is Valentine's Day. Yeah, it is Valentine's Day up. soon. So, And just for the, uh, the men out there, uh, if you are interested, just some of the other technical spec. We've got a um, Barris Shire engine, uh, Barris Shire 45 engine. I think we've done about 5,000 hours on that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, the boat, as I mentioned, is a two, 2007 uh, boat with a third owner's. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, all, all three owners have been uh, liverboard, so um, it may be showing more signs of wear and tear than a 13-year-old boat, which was purely for, for leisure, but we, we love her. Yeah. We do, um, and, and I knew as soon as I stepped foot on her that, that she was the one, yeah, I, like, I really uh, did. Like I, I looked say, at a few more, and they, they just didn't, it just didn't feel right, so this was what we called the blue one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the very first boat we looked at. Yeah. After viewing seven or eight more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and I, I wouldn't change her or swap her for anything. You lie. What about a rusty new bolt? Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, a rusty, what is it called? A, a rusty... DM2, Russell Newbury DM2. Yeah. Or the, what's the other one? The Gardener. Gardener 2L2 or 2LW. Yeah. But. You because they take up the the traditional engine sat in an engine room, take up so much room. He wouldn't be able to have his man cave. No, no. well, I'd have my little boatman's cabin at the back. It's the mm. bed we'd have to give up. Yeah. We can sleep on the dinette. Yeah. One day. Yeah. So I think that's about it. Yeah. I do hope that you really enjoyed the walkthrough. <laughs> I didn't because it was very yeah. stressful. I hope you enjoyed it more than we actually enjoyed making yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and again, thanks to all the the new patrons, yes. all the existing ones, yeah. PayPal. Thank you for your support. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. And anything that I've mentioned here, the the lighting, the underlight, and again, check out the links below. Um, if and I must say this, if you do end up buying it from um, one of those Amazon links, we do receive a, a small commission. You guys pay no extra from it. It's just another way of um, supporting our channel. Yeah, and I will get round to editing in the the final credits all the new names of, of people who support the channel but there's just so many as the daunting task of me with my spelling mistakes i'm gonna to have to put that down to deb deb will have to type all those in and i will add them all into the video yeah, yeah so if you enjoyed this little video press the like button if you haven't already subscribed press the subscribe button if you want future notifications of any other videos we upload the bell icon and of course keep your comments coming keep your comments coming we love your comments and it's snowing yes yeah, snowing and we'll see you don't know when and i don't know what we'll be waffling about when we next see you yeah. bye, bye.